Hey guys and welcome to my next uh, flashlight review. This time I got a new flashlight from Nightcore. It's the MT21C. As you can see it's a multi-purpose uh, flashlight with an uh, adjustable head from an angle from 0 to 90 degrees. It has a magnet in the tail cap so it's really multifunctional. Uh, you can use it for lots of different activities. So uh, the packaging is nothing special, just a standard Nightcore packaging with some information on the back of the uh, packaging. So I'm going to open it up and show you what's inside the box. So we have the flashlight itself and some accessories as the warranty card manual in different languages we got a nice holster and then of course we have a lanyard a clip and some spare o-ring so i'd say we put all the accessories aside and uh, we're going to have a closer look at the mt21c itself so here we are so as you can see again a very nice finish from nightcore just the standard finish as we know it from them. They are really professional in that, so uh, there's no quality issues here. The engravings are really sharp, so nothing to complain here. Anodizing has no problems. The threads go very smoothly. They are nicely greased, so everything's all right here. Inside we have this little silica gel so that no humidity gets inside the flashlight and damages the electronics so as you can see the flashlight comes without a battery but you can uh, use it with any standard 18650 battery or two cr123 batteries inside the tail cab you have a spring and uh, a magnet it's a bit sad that you cannot remove it but uh, it's not that big of a deal as you can see, it's a strong magnet, sticks to metal surfaces, so you can place it in lots of different spots. And then you have the little hook here, where you can attach it to all kinds of stuff, so you can tilt the head down and hang it somewhere. So that's pretty practical for camping or for all kinds of uh, work in your workshop or garage or if you work on a car. So as you can see, the head tilts, goes really smoothly, so that's a cool feature. Then you have the operating switch here on the head. We are going to have a closer look at the technical specifications of the MT21C. So it uses a Cree XVL HD V6 LED, again in cool white, so it's a shame they still do not use more warm white or neutral white LEDs in their flashlights. I keep uh, saying the same stuff over and over again, but unfortunately it's like that. Um, the overall length of the flashlight is 131 millimeters. The head diameter is 25.4, same for the battery tube. The weight is around 103.5 grams without a battery. The peak beam intensity is at 8500 candela, maximum throw distance 184 meters and the maximum output is 1000 lumens on this flashlight. It's waterproof according to the standard of EPX8 and its impact resistance to drops down from a height of about 1 meter. The LED sits well centered in a smooth reflector, the glass lens is uh, coated with an anti-reflecting layer and of course the flashlight has the advanced temperature regulation from Nightcore. So I'd say I'm going to put the battery inside and we're gonna have a closer look at the user interface of this little guy. So my battery is inside, it has 4.16 volts. Here you have a closer look at the head of the flashlight, so you have a little brass pill inside here. So I'm going to assemble the flashlight. Now the battery indicator will blink here. 
So four times for four walls, then it will do a little break and once more, so you know that it has around 4.1 volt. This battery indication also works when the flashlight is off, so just activate it by one single click. So you can always check how much battery juice you got left. To turn the flashlight on, just push the button for about 0.2 seconds and then you can switch between all the modes until the turbo mode and then it starts again in the eco mode or very, very low mode as they call it. To turn off simply push the button again. To enter the ultra low mode you need to push the button down for about 0.5 seconds to switch off you can do as told before. If you want to enter the turbo mode you need to push down the button for about 1.5 seconds then you can release it and it's uh, constant on. You also have turbo momentary therefore you need to press for about 2.5 seconds and then if you release it will shut off again. To access the special modes like strobe, SOS and beacon in any state just give it a triple click, you have the stroboscope, one more push you have the beacon, one more push you have the SOS mode. Just switch the flashlight off as usual. So that's about it for this flashlight. We are going to head over to the Ulbisch Ball now to see how the light performs. One thing I wanted to tell you is that if you add the clip here, it's pretty cool. You can clip it too close or something and then you have the tiltable head here that you can use to shine in front of you. This could be a good feature for police or law enforcement. So uh, maybe that's a flashlight that could be interesting for them. So here we are at the Ulbisch Ball to get a more accurate uh, result. I turned off the lights. So this is the ultra low mode which should have one lumen. I always say that I am a big fan of moon mode with uh, a light output beneath one lumen. So uh, in a multipurpose flashlight like the MT21C this uh, would make sense in my eyes. But uh, 1.5 lumen is not bad at all. Uh, in this mode the light draws 0.2 amps out of the battery. Now we are going to switch to the low mode which should deliver 50 lumen so here we have 70 lumen that's quite a bit more than 50 lumen it draws 0.4 lumens out of this uh, mode then we have the medium mode with 190 lumen this one delivers 220 lumen so the output is quite higher than indicated. In this mode it draws 0.6 amps. Then we have the high mode with 400 lumens. It has 440 lumens. It draws 1.1 amp. Now we should get 1000 lumen. Maybe it delivers a bit more. So here we have 987 lumen draws 3.1 amps now we are going to have a look how long the light will uh, stay uh, that high before the temperature regulation kicks in so after about one minute the light starts dropping continuously that's not so long but maybe they did not have lots of space for heat management inside the head because it's uh, tiltable uh, but in my eyes a flash at this size should deliver 1000 lumens for a longer time because I'm using a high quality battery and uh, after about two minutes we already have uh, 800 lumens so that's 200 lumens less than the turbo is indicated uh, here I think Nightcore could do a bit better after about five minutes the light only has less than 50% of the initial output I'm a bit disappointed by this result in the last time I got a lot of flashlights that dropped down very fast, even they are not uh, extremely small or extremely bright. So uh, I don't know what uh, goes wrong there, but I think that they should at least keep up the full power for 5 to 10 minutes and not uh, 
deliver 50% after five minutes. So I have the MT21C here on the turbo mode. So as you can see, it's a really usable light pattern. I'm going to show you the different output modes. So now we are activating the ultra low or eco mode. And you can see it's on. You can't see nearly anything. So I'm going to hang the light on this tree right here and you can see the different output modes from another angle. So here we have the turbo mode. It's pretty usable. It's cool with the hang on it so you can nearly hang it on every tree. If you just find a little branch you can just hang it on it. So in my eyes, Night Call it really cool light here. Maybe the only thing, as always, I'm telling them is to also uh, give the option to neutral or warm white LED. Maybe the possibility to charge it uh, via micro USB, because this is a flashlight that you will have lying around in your workshop, and uh, if it's empty, you would be happy if you just would need to plug a USB cable and not take the battery out and uh, swap it into a charger. So uh, it's a really cool concept of Nightcore. I hope they continue with innovative designs like this. And uh, I will post all the links and technical data below the video. As always, I would be very happy if you could give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and if you would subscribe to my channel for future cool tech reviews. Thanks guys. Bye bye.